introducing the perfect flancher forceps. This is a new titanium forceps, specifically designed for a flange creation when performing an IOL scleral fixation technique, such as the Yamani technique and its variants. It has several important features, starting with the presence of a 150 microns deep groove at the grasping end. This enables a gentle but firm holding of the haptics, especially those which tend to kink more easily, in example PMMA ones. Another important feature is a 1mm reference cylinder attached to one of the grasping arms. Its function is to give a standardized, quick reference of the amount of haptic to be melted. With the help of the perfect flancher, along with a low temp cautery, it is easy to create a flange of the correct shape and size every time. Furthermore, we performed some measurements of the diameter of two commonly used needles for the Yamani technique. We tested first the most suitable thin wall 30 gauge TSK needle, which resulted in a 300 microns outer diameter measured with a professional caliper. Then we measured a 27 gauge needle, which resulted in a 410 microns outer diameter. We then proceeded with the melting of 10 PMMA haptics, 10 PVDF haptics, and finally. 10 pieces of 6O proline as well. These 30 flanches were measured through the acquisition of several high definition black and white photographs in order to better define each structure. From a top view, we found for the PMMA haptics group the mean flange diameter was 374 microns. For that with PVDF haptics it was 447 microns and for the 6O proline it was 448 microns. From a lateral view we could appreciate the differences in shape between the different materials, being a mushroom shape for PVDF haptics, quite similar for proline based flanges and more like an inverted cone for PMMA haptics. Theoretically, none of these flanges would be able to pass through a 30 gauge scleral tunnel, while they might go through a 27 gauge scleral tunnel, demonstrating the advantage of using smaller 30 gauge needles for scleral fixation techniques. Now we'll show how the perfect flanger works during surgery. Once the trailing haptic is securely threaded into the needle lumen, slowly withdraw the needle while tucking some haptic back into the eye with the help of a forceps in your left hand. There are three steps for a flange creation. The first step is to hold the haptic in place with a Kalman or as in this case an MST forceps. The second step is to match the tip of the haptic with the 1 mm reference cylinder. The third step consists of firmly grasping the haptic while approaching a low temp cautery and melting the haptic end. The process is repeated for the opposite leading haptic. Be always careful to match the reference mark in order to melt the same length of haptic at both sides. This will more likely give a proper IOL centration, assuming that the scleral tunnels have been well constructed. Observe the correct flange shape and size at a graded magnification. Finally, a very important step is to completely bury both flanges using the reference cylinder as a pusher. This will prevent future exposures and theoretically lower the risk of an endophthalmitis. In summary, the perfect flanger forceps is a new tool for the anterior segment surgeon. Thanks to several specifically designed features it allows for a simple, fast 
and a standardized way for flange creation when using sutureless scleral fixation techniques.